We can say now that using uh, forensic, forensic techniques, it can reconstruct the faces of ancient people. We can really know for the first time and change mummies from dead to alive. In this coming month, we'll start examining with radiologists the five royal mummies that we did uh, CT scan in the Valley of the Kings. And after that, we'll do the non-royal mummies. We have like 10,000 mummies that we'll do and my mummies at the Valley of the Golden Mummies, and finally will be the royal mummies. We can see for the first time how the pharaohs looked like, and that really is very interesting to everyone, actually to see the faces of the pharaohs like me and you. But the most important thing, that this king, Tutankhamun, that has magic and mystery, that everyone all over the world wants to know how he died, how we looked like. I can say that I'm very proud to announce the world that now maybe we know how he died and maybe what he looked like. But the most important thing that was all the discoveries, the mystery and the magic of this king will never close, it will continue. I still see, this is why I said the case is not closed. It's still open because no. The three teams used for the first time the most sophisticated techniques. They did use what's called forensic techniques. As you know, we did examine this, the mummy of Tutankhamun in January 5, 2005. And the mummy has been studied and we did announce to the world that King Tut died in the age of 19. He was well fed. He did not have any childhood diseases. But we found out that he, there is no evidence of a blow to the back of the head or indication of a foul play. But radiologists did confirm this week actually that there is a fracture in the left leg that caused the infection. And this may be an accident happened one day before his death. Check the video. 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 Check the video.